In this video, you'll learn how to invite team members to your Beehive publication or workspace. Start off by logging into your Beehive account and clicking on settings in the bottom left of your screen. Now click on team under workspace settings. From here, click on invite new user and enter your team member's email address under email. Next, you'll need to set a permission level and user role. There are two different types of permission levels, workspace and publication. Giving a team member access to your workspace means they'll be able to access all the publications or newsletters under your account. For example, if you run three different newsletters or publications under the same Beehive account or workspace, the team member you invite will have access to all three of them. On the other hand, selecting publication will give a team member access to specific publications or in other words, newsletters that you specify. If you're going this route, select publication and click on the select publications dropdown. From this dropdown, you can select which publications you want to invite a team member to. Lastly, you can choose a user role for a team member. There are three different types of roles you can assign. Admin, member, and contributor. Admins will have full access to all areas of your account, including subscriber lists, wallets, revenue data, and everything else. It's best to assign this role only to trusted team members within your workspace. Next, the member role is designed for team members who need access to most features but should not have access to more sensitive settings like billing, payments, and anything else listed in the admin role. And lastly, there's the contributor role that is strictly dedicated to content creation. Contributors will have limited access to the post editor and automations. It's ideal for freelance writers or content creators who do not need access to data or settings. After selecting a permission level and user role, click on send email invite and a team member will be notified via the email you entered. Now they'll be added to your team if they accept the invitation. Once they've accepted, you'll see a badge next to their name and you'll see their permission level, their role, and the publications they have access to. You can also view previously sent invites or expired invites by toggling off hide invites. And lastly, you can update the permission level and user role of a team member at any time by clicking on the three dots menu next to their name and clicking on edit team member. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to check out the other tutorials on our YouTube channel.